Hey guys, John from JohnMarieHeadshots.com in the studio, ready to shoot somebody in the face. It's gonna be good fun. Um, three times today I have had this conversation. Um, people have been asking me questions about Botox and fillers and how it interacts with how they're having their photographs taken. What effect it has, how they don't end up on my website because there's only natural people on my website. Um, so this is partially around the hidden costs of Botox and fillers. The things that you won't see on the clinic websites or any of those other places, and they call Botox and fillers, they call it the empathy killer, right? So empathy comes from the Greek word empatheria, which means I'm feeling what you're feeling or you're feeling what I'm feeling. And what happens there is that we have a cells in our brain called mirror receptors. And in the middle of your brain, you have a thing called the limbic system. And the limbic system is the emotional center of your brain. And what the emotional center of your brain is designed to do is to make you mimic what you see in other people. If they're happy, you're happy. If they're sad, you're sad. If they're uncomfortable, you're uncomfortable. So when we see that in somebody else, we know if I say something to you and I upset you, I go, oh no, I didn't mean to say that. I'm really sorry because I can see off your face that you're upset and I know that I'm at the cause of that. If your kids are crying, then you need to communicate with them. So they're crying. Random fact, the viscosity of emotional tears is actually thicker than regular tears. So just tears of your blinking and stuff like that. Uh, so that it sticks to your cheek and that it gives extra time for people to know that you're upset. Now, if your kids are upset, you see them upset, your face becomes similar to theirs because you're upset for them because you're empathetic towards them. They know that you're being empathetic towards them because they know that you're connecting with them and then things get better. If you've got Botox and fillers in your face, you can't do that because your face doesn't react in the same way. So the kids don't know that you're feeling for them and then you don't feel closed off. Um, one of the big things that happens and one of the things that we need to understand is that, look, I'm all about it. Whatever makes you feel comfortable in your own skin, whether it's getting your hair cut, whether it's coming in here and having headshots done and learning a little bit more about your face, whether it's getting Botox and fillers, no matter what it is, you have the right to be happy and confident and comfortable in your own skin. But we need to understand that there are hidden costs associated with that. And one of them is human connection. If you're with somebody who's happy, you're happy. Because we have 16,384 different musculature variations in our faces. Thank you, University of Ohio Bio Biomechanical Department and their budget for studying that. Um, we do 35 facial expressions every day. We do 19 of them are smiles. We've done videos on that before. But what you need to understand is that when you go and paralyze parts of your face, you no longer have 16,384 different musculature variations in your face. You cannot connect with people on the same level through empathy because mirror receptors in your brain and mirror receptors in their brains are not connecting. Because when you move your face, it's not going to move in the same way as somebody else. You know, when you, somebody is happy, you cannot connect with them on a happy level because you can't raise your eyebrows and you can't activate out here. You know, your smile is not the same as theirs anymore because you've changed your lip profile and your mouth profile. So you cannot connect to them in the same way. If they're happy or they're sad or they're uncomfortable, you cannot connect to them in the same way because you physically can't move in the same way that you should. Now, the other side of it is that everything that you wear on your face is on loan. You saw it in your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, and you never saw any fault of those lips or any fault of that nose or any of that detail, the facial details. You never saw any problems with them in your parents and your grandparents. You never hated those lips when you're reading your good night stories. Those features are loaned to you and you pass them on to the next generation. So you see them in your kids and your nephews and your nieces and your grandkids. And heaven forbid anybody called them ugly because they wouldn't, which is sad that sometimes we feel because of marketing and because of these clinics who advertise so very, very well um, by letting people stick their eyebrows up like this. And then when you see it in the photograph, they're not doing it anymore as the after photograph. But when we understand the hidden cost of Botox and fillers, you can make a better decision. How you walk in the skin you wear is your decision and you get to decide how you wear that skin. Uh, nobody else gets to decide it for you. So how you walk in the skin you wear, your decision. Why not embrace it? Because what are the choice you have?